As consequências da mudança climática podem afetar diretamente as crianças. De acordo com o Prêmio Nobel da Paz, Kailash Satyarthi, ela cria condições para o aumento do tráfico de crianças e o trabalho forçado. Durante a Conferência Internacional do Trabalho, realizada em Genebra no mês de junho, Satyarthi divertiu que a perda de meios de subsistência e a migração para áreas urbanas podem incentivar o tráfico de crianças. Ele citou o terremoto de abril de 2015 no Nepal como um lugar onde ele havia observado essas condições. 60% of children, child laborers work in agriculture sector. And if the weather is disrupted in terms of rains, in terms of uh, uh, other kind of things, flood, then the children are the worst victims. I personally rescued hundreds of children who were the victims of floods in an area called Koshi River, belt in India. They were trafficked by the people during and after the floods and brought to work as child slaves or some of them became child prostitutes. It's a serious matter. Five and a half million children are still working as forced laborers. And according to some other independent studies, the number is increasing because the trafficking is increasing. So we have to respond to it. And therefore, I strongly support few things. One is that this forced labor protocol has to be ratified and implemented by every single country, and I urge for it. Business as usual is not going to work. We have to take steps now. We live in the state of emergency for our children, and therefore, looking at your faces. I refuse to accept. I refuse to accept that the power of all the governments, the strength and outreach of all my union friends, and the wealth of all the employer groups is incapable to put an end to child labor and child slavery. I refuse to accept. You have that power, and now, we have to identify it, we have to work hand in hand, and as I said before, we have to make child labor a history in our lifetime. Thank you so much. <laughs>